So the hard part about being your lawyer is telling you the truth. That you had an obligation to go and talk to that individual who gave you a marriage proposal in person. And what you were sitting there relying on was that technology was giving him the information that you allege you provided. But here's the deal. I don't see that in the records. And I don't believe that you did that on purpose. What I think is that technology is not what we really think it is today. What it really can happen is that someone who hacks a man can delete your emails, delete your phone calls, delete your text messages, and maybe even law enforcement that you've been pissing on with this problem you call a problem, which is just your immaturity of handling a proposal, is that openly they can block him from getting anything at all from you. Now right now you're getting feedback from him on something you say you're talking to God about, which is great, because what does that show you? That God knows him? and God might tolerate you. But the reality is you don't want to play around in God's realm. You don't want to play in the whisper modes on people's phone where people get whispered something to do like we've seen in the movies and then all of a sudden all chaos breaks out for you and your family. You probably got profiled by now. You probably got played with because of how you look. And you probably got a man who found you quick because someone else took your photographs from him and went after you. He didn't provide that information to anyone. But police officers and sheriffs take those things and want trophies and wives, or at least trophies for a short time. Your friend, whoever she was, is no longer here. According to the obituary, it says she's died. Well, here's the deal. People are going to look at you and go, did you kill her? Did you push her out of there? Did you take over her house? And what the fuck would you want to do that for? You've got two children of your own to host, and now you got four more? Or how many is it? I wasn't sure. I wasn't really fully listening to the score. But here's the deal. You got a guy who's madly in love with you, who's waited 10 years just to hold your hand, and just to have a chance with you, because you took so fucking long to finish your divorce. 